Hi, I'm Priyanka Orgaria, a developer advocate for Google Cloud, and in this video, I'll show you how to create an e-commerce website with Google Cloud. There are multiple ways to create a retail website. In this video, I'll walk you through one such approach called headless commerce. Headless commerce is where you decouple the front end, your mobile app, your CMS, from your back end or your commerce layer. This approach provides flexibility to your marketing teams to quickly alter front-end elements to run campaigns and promotions and create the most advanced customer experience for any front-end device. By the end of this video, you will understand the basics of how to build a headless commerce application. You will see a front-end experience deployed on Cloud Run in Google Cloud and integrated with commerce backend from Google Cloud Marketplace offering partner Commerce Tools. All right, let's get started. First things first, if you logged into the console for the first time, create a project. A project is required to use Google Cloud and forms the basis of creating, enabling, and using all the Google Cloud services. I'm going to be using this one for our demo today. On the left navigation, select Billing and link your billing account. Go to Billing anytime for an accurate, up-to-date picture of your cloud spending. You can view all products and learn more about them, read documentation, work on a quick start, and even navigate to individual products. If you prefer to use the command line interface, from the top right corner, you can activate Cloud Shell, which is an online terminal preloaded with utilities such as the G Cloud command line tool, QCTL, and more. Now that you know how to navigate through the console, let's look into the headless commerce project. Here you have the Cloud Run instance for our e commerce front end. It is built on Wui storefront and deployed in a serverless container. If you are wondering why we are using Cloud Run here, it's because it allows you to deploy serverless containers. You don't need to worry about scaling up or down as traffic patterns change. Once the service is deployed, you can see it in the Cloud Run Service Details page. And here is what the service looks like. In order for this to work, we need to plug into a backend. So let's talk about the backend now. We could just create a backend ourselves, but that would require us to create all the microservices for products, orders, cards, etc. And we have an example for that here. Creating your own backend can be a lot of work and can be time consuming. The time which your development team can spend elsewhere which is why in this solution, we are using a headless approach, a faster way to connect with pre-built backend APIs. The benefit of this approach is that you can update the front end without having to touch the backend. This separation also makes it easier to update the front end while maintaining compliance with security and other standards for the backend. It also helps with maintaining consistent performance for the end-to-end -end client experience as you apply updates to your front end. All right, so how do we actually do this? We have Google Cloud Marketplace, which offers quick deploy software solutions. The partners such as Commerce Tools on Marketplace allows you to create this integration right inside the console. After setting up a trial account on Commerce Tools and logging in, I created an API client to connect the front end with the Commerce Tools backend, which offers products, categories, customers, orders, and other services. After both the front end and back end are set up, we can deploy the website and see that it works. And as we saw at the beginning of this tutorial, the storefront on Cloud Run can be accessed at the deployed URL. You can also see the logs and metrics in the Cloud Run deployed service with request count, latency, billable instance time, and other utilization metrics. You just learned how to build a headless commerce application with front-end experience deployed on Cloud Run 
and backend APIs on commerce tools in Google Cloud Marketplace. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to sign up for a free trial and follow this tutorial yourself.